With all but the most essential businesses shut down and with hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers now out of work, the state and the city are losing millions in sale and income taxes every day. That and deficits that existed before the crisis began have left New York City in a $7 billion hole and New York State in the hole up to $15 billion. How to get out? Mayor Bill de Blasio has a message for the federal government. If we can't provide the basics for our people, then you can kiss your recovery goodbye. The mayor today talked about the topic between New York and Washington, reviving the economy. In an afternoon phone call with the president, the region's governors, led by Andrew Cuomo, said recovery depends on two main things. Testing and tracing, testing and tracing, and we need the federal government to work with us on that. Testing 9 million New York workers regularly to ensure they're healthy enough to work. And then when anyone's test shows they're positive for COVID-19, tracing who their contacts are so they're pulled out of work to get healthy is what Cuomo and most medical experts say has to happen. Doing that will take time, later than a May 1st economy reboot President Trump has suggested, which is why Governor Cuomo ordered New York pause to continue until May 15th at the earliest. The testing and tracing also takes money. I spoke to the president yesterday. If we don't have any more resources, how can we provide for the safety the protection, the health of New Yorkers. And the mayor has said that already a variety of city programs have been cut and far worse could happen if the next stimulus package doesn't deliver big for New York City and New York State. It is being debated right now in Congress and the mayor saying it's up to the president to tell GOP members of Congress to stand up for New York. We will certainly keep following this issue as it continues to unfold. Reporting live from Kipps Bay outside Bellevue Hospital, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.